This was the culmination of a few days of interactions with police. Scene to the paperwork. We get the details to build a timeline. The devil is in the details. Let's ride. July 4th. 911, what's the address for your emergency? Hello, 911. So she 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 hangs up and she calls back. Well, I guess they don't pick that. Hello, nine one one. Hello. This is nine one one. We received a call from this Hello? number. Do you have an emergency? Yes, I do. What's going on there? Somebody's trying to hurt me. Who's trying to hurt you? A lot of them. Who? Well, never mind. Must not be the right number. That's not what I said. What? Yo. That's sick. This is her on the phone with 911. You know, use it 911 like, you know how sisters use 911. 911 is all purpose, man. 911 is your your you know, your marriage counselor, your you know, say your security guard, your 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 your, your chaperone, your 911 is like a Swiss army knife for sisters. <laughs> you know, you need somebody to talk to. You just, you know what I'm saying? You're feeling a little, you know, wonky and shit, and you need somebody to talk to. Uh, you heard a, you heard a noise outside your home. Like, this is what sisters use 911 as. And this is something that needs to be exposed, man. And listen, I'm sure all women do this. I bet white women who live wherever they live, whether it be in the country. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm sure white women do this too, but here's the thing. White women don't have the public relationship with police that sisters do. White women ain't constantly accusing the police of being against them, their sons, their husbands. White women, yes, they do. Liberal white women take every chance they can to diss the police and to besmirch them, but on behalf of black people. White women don't have the same relationship with the police. These black women, for as much shit as they talk about the police, they have no right calling the police and using 911 as their psychiatrist, as their healthcare professional, as their chauffeur. Like an 897, like an 851. Eight nine seven here for both. Open line on nine one one, then disconnected. And on call back, FEMA gave the address that a lot of people are trying to hurt her. So the dispatcher says we're going to call back. They they've called back already, but they're going to call her back again because she hung up abruptly. So they're calling her back. They tried to get further. She disconnected. Eight five nine cancel eight five one. I'll be out. Eight five one, disregard. Eight five eight, you can cancel one of them. I'll be in route for Bryn Mawr. Eight five eight, ten four. Eight five nine, you can disregard. I'll stay with him if it's an active ten sixteen. I'm right behind him. Ten four. No, two changes to forty six, please. Ten four. Attention all units, fourteenth and reservoir. They are actually shooting off fireworks. Seven four. Ten four. We're out to ten forty six. All of us. Ten four. Central units, subjects are seeing the rocket's red glare behind Park Towers, 405 Wiggins. 362131. Central units, 2320 Greystones, advising there are fireworks in the air. Central units in B100, there are fireworks going off in the mobile home parks. 1036-2132. Negative 807. One of our 1017s would like, or one of our callers would like a 1017 by phone reference fireworks in the mobile home park. 10-4. 8 6 one. Stack this back. Let me see here, please. 10-4. 7 can someone else. She does not need police assistance. 10-4. Again, 858 Both units can disregard. 10-8-3-10-8. Thank you. 8-6-1-10-8. 8 5 9 Go ahead. Hello, 911. 
Where, we have any call history with the phone number? 859 negative, nothing in locals or clear call. So that was July 4th. Ah, uh, you think the the fireworks kind of triggered her and just made her go out of whack? Um, you know, that that may have been um you know, like a dog or something. Yeah, that could have been, you know, because she's 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 ready. Yep. Yeah, that's she's what I'm up. saying. Yeah, it could have been something that made her because she's paranoid. Yeah, could have made her made her very paranoid. Yeah, may have, may have, uh, may have had something to do with it. Isn't she schizophrenic too? Nine one one. Yeah, she's a um, she's a paranoid schizophrenic. And then plus that revelation you brought up about her uh being diagnosed, she had lupus and then being stage. Lupus and stage, stage four. four, stage yeah. four kidney disease. So she's she dying. All type of stuff going on. She's yeah, a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> Jesus. Nine one one address of emergency. Okay, what's going on there? Well, my daughter is being sporadic. Um, she's been um, mentally uh, having a mental breakdown, which is something new to me. She's not a danger to herself. She's not a danger to me. Mama. But when she gets upset, then she thinks everybody's after her. Like paranoid schizophrenia. She thinks everybody's after her. Okay. How old is she? Yeah. She's uh, 35. What's her name? Sonia Matthew. Sonia, you said? I'm just answering the question. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. I'm sorry. Hello. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. That's okay. Her name is Sonia? Uh-huh. Okay. And what's your name? Donna. Donna, what's your phone number there? Uh, he's out in the front of the house talking so loud that we could probably hear her to the end of the block. Okay. She had a car keys in her hand, but um, the, they told me, the mental people told me to call 911 because she could uh, get in her car and, and kill her, herself okay. or somebody because she had ran a couple of red lights when she went up. And so um, she's being sporadic, and I don't want her. So she's in front of her house yelling so loud that people at the end of the block can hear her. She has a car seat in her hand, and she ran a couple of red lights. And so she's been, like, she's outside of the house. This is not just her in the house. She's, like, you know, she's being crazy for everyone to see. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want you guys to... Huh? Uh, nothing, nothing. Yeah, she's she being crazy for everyone to see. I don't want her... I don't want you guys to hurt her, please. Don't, okay, please hey, my, don't, I've got some don't. questions I've got to ask you. Does she have a weapon? Okay. No. Okay. Is this a suicide attempt? No, she won't, she's not going to hurt herself or uh, anyone else. Okay. Is she alert? She's yeah. alert. Okay. All right. Ma'am, we're going to get help on the way, okay? If anything changes or she tries to leave, call me back. Okay. My sister has something to say that she she saw that I didn't see. No. No. She said, never mind. Okay. We got it covered. Help on yeah. the way. Thank you. And please don't send no combative policemen that are prejudiced, please. Okay, well, that, that would be none of them, They just do their job, okay? Oh, they're all fucked up. They're scary. I'm scared of the police. Please, okay. please. There's nothing me. to be fearful of, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Sometimes they make the serious bit worse. Okay. Helps on the way, Thank man. you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Now, uh, they can use that part. What do you mean? I mean, they could use that against them, you know. Try to use that against them. Oh, we told them not to bring a type of cop and all that, you know, yada yada. But what is the type of cop they want? Like, there's no type of I, cop. 
No, no, I agree with you, but they yeah. could try to use this, that part. Yeah, that 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 right there could, is only good in the court of public opinion. This ain't, none of this is good. None of this could be like you. That guy on the phone was very professional. The lady on the phone before, she was very professional. Um, They're just dealing with, it's just normal shit. Like, you see how many calls they get from in Memphis just for domestic incidents? They get like 45,000 calls a year just on domestic. This isn't even domestic. This is the, like, like, these cities are inundated with these type of calls from sisters all day long, 24-7. And they're sending cops out to these calls all day long. Cops wouldn't have nothing to do if it wasn't for sisters. American Ambulance Dispatch, may I help you? Do you guys have your BLS rig go to <laughs> for somebody having mental problems? Okay, no problem. I'll get it. I think it's, uh, what are you guys, six? Six. All right, thank you. Uh, okay, bye-bye. 918 739. 739. Caller states that their daughter is having a mental breakdown. We do have CMED en route also. 739 en route. Look at all this that's going on. And then when we first met the family, they were acting as if they they didn't they didn't they didn't appear like this was all that was going on. You know, it was just like, oh, the cops just came and killed her. You know what I'm saying? And not saying that the cops should have killed her and they had no right to kill her for this. And even if she was going to throw the hot boiler water, like they say, I still wish there was going to be another resolution to that instead of, you know, killing her. But there was a lot going on that they knew about that they were willing to not talk about to the media. And the media is not even going to explain that. Yeah, but these were released, of course, by the police department because they're like, yo, you got us out here looking crazy. So yeah. they're releasing everything. 42, you can cancel 739. Put me on that. And for 739, disregard. Go ahead. 
EKSO unit. Uh, there's nothing going on with the store there, but. Uh, 104868, disregard. 10-8. And 739 868. Go ahead. 1514 South 1st, 1514 South 1st for a disturbance. Caller just keeps saying, Are you guys going to pull up or what? Says mom has locked him out of the residence. Doesn't want to talk to us about anything. We're up. And we're up. Capital Plaza on 23. 10-4. I'll get you another one. I'll buy it. Whoever is northbound at Wabash and Veterans, your back lights are still on. Just 43. Sam 624. Check your MDC. 10-4. Make a nice day. Go ahead. We call the 17 back and see if he still needs us. I'm not getting an answer at the door. 10-4. 739, 10-6. 10-4. Hey, Church, 041. 10-4. 868, are you talking to the mother? 10-4, I got an answer on the side door. So they got somebody there talking to the mom. This is, listen, these are a lot of resources being used up by this one system. A lot of resources and black people are so um linear thinking that they think that it was sean grayson that went to every call they're like damn he was over there before and it's like yo do you understand how police departments work there's shifts there's three shifts the odds of us police officer going to the same house or different shifts is almost impossible all the odds of you getting the same cop twice and on different calls is almost impossible. If you live in a city, make sure you hit the like button, support the channel via PayPal, Cash App, or the Super Chat. Um, but online, there's all type of conspiracy theories being um, floated around like, oh, man, he was over there so many times. And it's like, when you watch the interaction, does it seem like he had been o over there before? <laughs> Doesn't nah, seem like he knew who this woman was. He was like, Crazy. "Are you sure? Are you good?" Yeah, he he was just, he he could tell something was wrong with her just because of his experience as a cop. Hey, fourteen, can you show me around to that first recall? Hey, fourteen, probably twenty-two. We're about to wrap it up here. Hey, fourteen, like an eight thirty from eight six seven zero three. Nine one one address. <laughs> Fuck you up, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you up. So this is the night of this is the night of um the fifth. She dies in a few hours. She dies at one something in the morning. So she dies um no, this is the midday. This is the uh, this is the afternoon of the fifth. So she dies in like twelve hours, maybe um, thirteen hours from now. She's gonna be dead. So her mom called in the morning. Yeah, her mom called that morning that that oh, previous wow. night, and the, and the next morning. Wow. And she had made several calls too the previous night. She trying to get her daughter out of there. <laughs> Yeah, she she there's a we're gonna hear about some beef with a, a neighbor when we when all this stuff goes to court. We're not gonna hear about it now. The family's not gonna tell us about the beef with the neighbor. They're gonna act like you know every, they're keeping everything on the cop because you know that's how you do. Um, but there was some beef with a neighbor, man. This woman was going through a lot. Like an eight thirty from eight six seven zero three nine one one address. <laughs> Fuck you up, bitch. Fuck you up. I'm about to fuck you up. I'm about to fuck you up. So some she's calling this is her making the phone call is that someone saying that to her that she's running from or is that her saying that to somebody it seems like that's not her voice that seems like another woman's voice doesn't it 
Nah. I think that's her saying it. Yeah. I think Cook was right, man. The cops are just (laughs) left. I think she's she's saying that to her neighbor, probably. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, just talking out loud. Is she destroying her own car right now? I don't know. Yeah. I, 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 uh, who knows? Because I don't only hear one voice. Yeah. And uh, is the neighbor white? I, I thought I saw, uh, I swear I heard an old white man or something. I don't know. Theater of the mind. You, you, you remember when the cops was investigating, they saw damaged cars and yeah. they were looking around damaged cars, so she really was going in. Break my window. She just said that. I swear, I just heard it, bro. Uh, it was it was wow. Where's the nine one one operator? Um, she ain't paying him no mind. Don't matter. She, the woman is probably listening. Probably asked her a few questions, and since and the woman, and since there was no response to reply to her, she's probably just keeping the call on while she's sitting units there because they're not gonna hang up on you, you know, if you don't respond back, especially if it's a situation like you don't know what's going on. If you're the dispatch, you can't just hang up on this person. What's this? 
She's yeah, she's she's putting out a lot of bad energy that day. And this is outside. And they say the mom said she's talking so loud, but you can hear it. Right so this is everybody on the block can hear this and see this. This is not like just like something that's just happening like on her front porch. Like just think about if somebody was doing this right in front of your house, like or on your block. You look out the window, be like, "What the fuck?" You know yeah, what I'm saying? Some hood shit. Yeah, but she's some it's just her. The hood. But it appears to be just her. Nobody else. Nobody else. Nobody else. <laughs> you have a tough time breaking that window. Say she busted it. I ain't busting shit. You did. So she busted the window. She probably forgot that she was on hold. And this is that's 12, what I'm thinking. 1250. So she had yeah. all this time to think about it. And I was gonna say, like, as soon as when she called the cops and they started asking for her information again, that's when it that's when it kicked on. She was like, Oh, they're on to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. Yeah, she crashed out. How? Play a little game, bitch. Where did bitch go? Think of what we lost. I know. A lot of oxygen. I mean, she's being Cause... mourned like we like lost a lot. She a scholar. Know. Yeah, she forgot that she. I think she forgot she got the cops on hold. I think no, she was that, holding her phone. That was the other thing. During she never let go of her phone that whole time during the police altercation. She was addicted to that shit, like it's crack. Yeah. This is this is this woman is crazy crazy. But some of this crazy is just typical black woman crazy. I don't think this is necessarily all craziness 
like she got a beef with her neighbor and she's trying to set her neighbor up. She broke her own car window to, and trying to blame it on her neighbor. One second. Here go. Go ahead. 2868 Hoover, 2868 Hoover, 23 feet from this location. Have an open line on 911. Female screaming that she's going to hurt someone, saying she's going to kill someone if they go near her car. Open line of her making threats. 111. 10 4. Give me up an OP service ticket here at the uh, smoke shop as well. When I get done with that one, I'll dispose. 10 4. 111. I'm going to go ahead. When you clear that paper, can you start 2868 Hoover and back 116 up on that 1016, please? We can out there here shortly. 100. 100. Put me on that ticket with 116. I'm right behind. 10 4. 118. Go ahead. One of the subjects from your earlier evictions on the phone for you. Can we transfer him out? Yeah, that's fine. 118. 18. You can put me on a follow up to that 848 North 7th Street, apartment A. Jennifer. Units in Rep. Hoover. Hoover's calling, saying the neighbor hit her with a brick. Couldn't give us any more information than that. 104, 1060. 601, checking your status. Good night. 10 4 642, check in your status. 10 4 714, check in your status. 10 8. 10 742, check in your status. 10 8. 10. 11 is out. 10. 11, who called about being hit with a brick? Subject at. They refuse to give us any names, just. Jim, we're in contact with her. She doesn't seem to know what's going on, so I'm going to make contact 2868. 10 4. Is that 100? 100. Do you have a number for whoever called in? I do. I will try to call her. 100. She's refusing to tell me her address. Just keeps saying she's going to come outside. Hey, 16. I think it's further down here. Units on Hoover. It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> highly 96. Well, supposedly she's either. On our way to St. John's, they're already there. I'm going to run up and check. 10. 111, 116. Go ahead. I put her name, everything on the people's field and the vehicle field, the vehicle she's driving. It's all there for you. Got it. Thank you. I'll let you know what we get when we get there. 10 yeah, more. Same with 116. Go ahead. I'm standing by at the residence. Grandma's coming over here and wants to talk to me. Um, we'll put an ATL out on that vehicle, too, after 111 checks the hospital. If she's not there, we'll do an ATL. Just check on her welfare. 10-4. 11 over 23 cents. 10-4. 602, checking your status. Getting. 10-4. 738, checking your status. Getting. 10-4. 745, checking your status. Getting. 10-4-748, checking your status. 10-8, ma'am. 10-4. 16 from 11, the vehicle just pulled up here. Perfect. 7-14. 7-14. 100 Second Street, 100 Second. So check on welfare. We received a call on 911 from an elderly female saying something's going on in her neighborhood. She hasn't seen anyone in a while. Just requesting you check on her. Make sure she's 10-4. Good for her, ma'am. Good around. 714, show me the point there. 714. Go ahead. Per home health care, can you send my EMS to this location? Um, well, can you advise on patient status? Very disoriented, doesn't even know who I am. She usually does. Uh, 100 oh, segment. That's G100 segment. Good. They're starting at 1052 for a man with chest pain as opposed to. 729. 749. Just 43, your fire department is being paid 701 North Cartwright for an alarm investigation. Fire department. Central Dispatch, Mark. Hello. Hello. Central Dispatch. Yeah. It's, uh... Uh, That's her. Okay, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Can you speak up? No. 
Okay, I can't understand what street. Hoover. Hoover. Hoover? Oh, yes. Ah. You said Hoover? Yes. Okay, what is the problem? Oh, man, you guys. Someone's going to come over here and get this girl. Sorry, what is the problem? This girl hit me with a brick. No. Okay. Real bad. She's sitting. No, hold on. Okay, and why is your so she's lying on her neighbor right now, saying she got hit with a brick. She's using up a lot of fucking resources. Neighbor hit you with a brick. Well, come find out, cause y'all, I can't tell you, man. I'm hurt real bad. Then um, I said, come find out. I can't tell you because I'm hurt real bad. Just lying. I go to a hole on that because it's crazy. Like, what is your name? This could y'all come. I, I, I can't do it right now, man. Sorry. Okay. What is your name? Right address. I can't. I don't know hers. That's the only What is your name? She never tried to give her name up. Man, it's just weird. Black I'm women not using 911. So let's see what the comments say. Oh, it breaks my heart hearing her say, please don't send no combative police here. I'm scared of the police. They make it worse. That was her mom who said that. He tried to punch down after her death, knowing they had calls before. All his co-workers knew he was the problem. Nah, you're the problem. Exactly. Look, if if she had mental health issues, nine times out of ten, she probably did have run-ins with them. Um, everybody had such a bad attitude immediately when talking to her. <laughs> what? <laughs> Didn't even get a chance to talk to her. The irony. It says, um, wow, this was very hard to understand. Um, prayers for all who suffer from mental health issues. Um, somebody got a lot of shit going on in the background. She said, six months before a relative calls 911 due to a DV case, and the popo shoots four-year-old in the head and is not charged, yet this family calls 911 instead of a neighbor or a friend. Like, I don't think, see, these people don't understand. She's not calling 911 instead of a neighbor or a friend. She's calling 911. She's crazy. She's calling 911 to try to put a case on her neighbor. She's trying to, she's got, she's locked in this beef with her neighbor. And now she's trying to get her neighbor arrested for assault or destruction of property. This ain't got nothing to do with black people don't understand. Like everything ain't like the, the man's supposed to protect us, you know. Nah, this ain't got nothing to do with that. These people been out to her house several times. They've been on the phone with her countless times in the last in the, the last what 36 hours of her life. She's a nuisance to them, and they keep showing up for her, giving her services, giving her. Giving her, um, you know, what she need. They show up time and time again. And then when she when she acted like she was going to throw hot water on some cops, they reacted how to listen. And look, my shit is bubbling up more. I got to take another picture to show y'all. Tax and this wasn't, head. yeah, this wasn't boiling water. This was just hot water and it wasn't to the face it was to my stomach that boiling hot pot of water from what i'm feeling right now that could blind you it could blind you and it definitely gonna hurt like hell and it's definitely gonna make all your face bubble up your whole face is going to be bubbled up. And it might be bigger bubbles than the ones I got. 
because I got my shirt off pretty fast. And I got um and I got, you know, hit in the just in a certain area. And the water wasn't boiling. It was hot, but it wasn't boiling. Those cops know. They knew. They was like, they got they they knew that how the danger of a pot of boiling water. It says, um, that dude knew he was going to do something to her. When someone calls the police to help them, they are going to show up in front of the residence, not down the street from the house. Then with the lie he told, make it even more suspect. I'm wondering if Donna ran into the same guy that shot Sonya. Oh. These people are projecting all these motives onto the cops when they're just like dealing with some crazy woman that keeps calling them. <sighs> dealing with the Sun community is. <laughs> Yo, it's a thankless job, man. It's a thankless job. Jesus. You show up over and over again. You know what I'm saying? This woman is not, this woman's not, this woman's trying to put, a, this is a crime. False report. She's false reporting that her neighbor hit in the head with a brick and broke her car window. That's a false report. She did it. This is a false report. She's a crime. She. Did should she have died? No, because she she didn't die because of that. Because Sean Grayson didn't know anything about this. He's just the cop that's on duty, showing up at her house. The latest on the Sonia Massey case, the 911 calls that led to the fatal police shooting in her home were released, along with the deputy's personnel file. Alex Perez is in Chicago, continuing to follow this story for us. Good morning to you, Alex. Hey, good morning, Robin. Yeah, 165 pages of Grayson's personnel files were released. And for the first time, we're learning more about Sonia Massey's mental health struggles in the days before the shooting. This morning, newly released 911 and dispatch audio shedding more light on the police shooting of Sonia Massey. On July 5th, Massey's mother, Donna, calling 911 to say Sonia was having a mental health episode. She's been um, mentally uh, having a mental breakdown. She thinks everybody's after her. Donna pleading with the 911 operator not to hurt her daughter, insisting she was not a danger. I don't want you guys to hurt her. Please don't send no combative policemen that are prejudiced. Please. They're scary. I'm scared of the police. Please. At 12.49 a.m. on July 6th, is Sonia calling 911 herself to report a disturbance. It sounds like somebody was banging on the side of my house. I don't know. Oh, could y'all come and see? 30-year-old Sean Grayson and his partner arriving at Sonia's doorstep in response. What do you need help with? Nothing. I just... Things quickly escalating when Sonia asks to take no a boiling sense. pot of water off the stove. She said, what do you need help with? She said, nothing. I just want to see if y'all can help me. <laughs> <laughs> and she did that shit like two or three times. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to see. Like, she did something that we can't see behind all this stuff. Hey, I was, I was hoping you'd play this spot. You should... You should start from when she's sitting on the seat and wash her eyes. Mm. Her hot steam in the water. Away from the hot steam in the water? Yeah. Oh, I was rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You better f not. I swear to God. What these people don't understand is that because of the fisheye lens of the body cam, it looks like she's further away than she is. She's right there. Like yeah. he's, you know what I'm saying? It's a fisheye lens. It's making it look further away. They're very close. They're, they're right up on each other. You drink your face. Okay, I'm sorry. Drop, 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 dr
Drop the, Drop the fucking pot. The body cam footage shows Grayson shooting Massey, something he has not denied. Grayson, charged with murder, is being held without bond and has pleaded. Uh, they didn't show the body cam that's every that everybody has of the yeah. Earth on the pot. Yeah. They edited they, it really well. They showed they showed his cam, but they cut out before they show her jowing, jumping up with the pot of water. Exactly, exactly, exactly. They, they exactly they show his body cam, and then they don't Fire show. They showing his body cam without showing the one piece where she. This shows is his cam here. Shooting Massey. This is this is this is evil. <laughs> Look at her face. This is, yeah, this is such a um this is like if this was the other way around, if this was a black cop, right? And she was a white woman, and they did this, there would be cries of racism. Show the part where she tried to, you know what I'm saying? Like, how could you not show that part? That's why Trump calls it fake news, fake news media. Yeah. It's crazy. That's the only part of his body cam, because his body cam is only thirty seconds long. So that's the that's the part of his body cam that's important. Something he has not denied. Grayson, charged with murder, is being held without bond and has pleaded not guilty. I shot him this email. Dispatch initially reporting Massey shot herself. They're now saying self-inflicted. Massey's family calling it a police cover-up and urging the segment. What cover-up? What cover up? There's, there's no cover up. What cover up? The, a mistake know, is a cover up now. A mistake is a cover up. They're projecting that she was the one, because remember, she was on calling 911 ad nauseum for the last 36 hours. She was the one trying to set up her neighbor for a crime of hitting, of assault or uh, destruction of property. They're projecting what she was doing onto the cops because there was a mistake made. And look at him; he's he's a, he look, he's a, he's one of evil blacks, like um, the uh, old uh, civil rights. Look, he got, he got a walking stick. He, I'm surprised he ain't coming in dashiki, man. Police cover up and urging the Sagamon County Sheriff to resign. She's got my baby's blood. That was your daughter, sir. I would love to know the last time he talked to her. I would love to know the last time like he gave her some support financially. I would love to know this. He needs to know. So if he doesn't resign, then he's going to go. And those personnel files reveal Grayson refused to answer questions about the shooting after the incident and say his use of force in this case violated department policy. Guys. And like if that was like her ex-boyfriend that killed her, he wouldn't even have that same type of energy. Mm -mm. Nope. None of them would. None of them. If that would have been an intruder. Some niggas is <laughs> home invasion. They wouldn't have that type of energy. These people are there's an evilness to these people, man. Um and it's it is in this in this in this it may not they it may be otherwise good people, but the 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 uh the way they're playing this out, and mostly all black people do these things in this situation. It's like ah, oh, we gotcha. White people, you gotcha, you kill yeah. them. And it's like, in in, in in that, they don't understand that that shows a lack of care for your loved one just as much as not caring when a black person does it. Because it's like, you're only caring because it's the white person. And quickly, everything is about the white person. Like, nothing's about her anymore. Like, they're not, you know what I'm saying? Everything's about this person needs to be fired. That person needs to be fired. They did this. They did that. They did this. They don't even really care about her anymore. You know what I'm saying? That shit's funny. Wow. Um, so this is the chief. Hit the like button. 
Take the five dollar challenge via PayPal, Cash App, or the Super Chat. Sonya Massey, man. Um, Sonya Massey. I got called everything but a child of God for the last week, just trying to point the obvious out. Shit's crazy. Yeah, black a people big, are um fuck very you all, very baby. yeah yeah black people are just not they, they, they have an ability to uh deny reality and to play like childlike games. Like a lot of the games black people are playing over this are very childlike. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like a little kid trying to win an argument. Where it's like it's not even like they're trying to win the argument. It's just like they're just trying to filibuster and and, and muck up the shit and they don't really the care. Yeah, but they don't even really care. It's just more about like an ego thing. You know what I'm saying? Can't take the loss, no matter what it is. Yeah, it's it's, it's like um, it's like a game to black people. These type of situations are like a game to black people. Just like any other police action. For the first action. time, the Sangamon County Sheriff. Yeah, it's a, this is this is a game. Sheriff is answering questions after one of his deputies shot and killed Sonia Massey following her 911 call for help. Our Charlie DeMar has been covering this case all week. He joins us now and the sheriff who made it clear who's to blame on this story. And Joe and Erica, not mincing words, making it very clear. The county sheriff calls the former deputy Sean Grayson a rogue officer who acted outside the scope of his authority and ultimately let Sonia Massey and her family down, but says that Grayson had more training than most officers. I heard somebody outside. I don't know why uh, he, he conducted himself the way he did. I think that's what confuses all of us, that he was trained to handle that situation, and he and he alone. Sangamon County Sheriff Jack Campbell sitting down with CBS News, answering questions about the horrific events that led to Sonia Massey's death last month. Pop the f***ing, drop the f***ing pop. 911 calls and dispatch audio appear to show that Massey... Okay, so this is the house, and this is the driveway that the... um car with the um busted window was in so she's out here making a fuss i would like to see the whole block i would like to see the whole block um but yeah so this is a little you know ringing ding little house you know and the, this is but you know she, it is what it is and um her, her nefariousness and her maliciousness trying to set her neighbor up whether her neighbor deserved it or not 